Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will show you how to play your Pokemon mini games on your Sony PSP. If you are new to the channel, do click the subscribe button and help us reach our goal of getting 1000 subscribers. Thank you. The Pokemon Mini is a small size pocket handheld released in 2001 by Nintendo. It was designed to look like a Tamagotchi and the game release was focused around the Pokemon team. There were only 10 games released for this system. Even so, only 4 games were only released in Europe and America. The other 6 games were only released in Japan. Unlike the Tamagotchi, the Pokemon Mini uses a single AAA battery which provides about 60 hours gameplay. Sadly, due to poor sales, it was discontinued in 2002, less than 2 years since it was released. Some popular games released for the Pokemon Mini include the Pokemon Pinball and the Pokemon Tetris. Over the years, the Pokemon Mini had become something of a collector's item. Prices have gone up recently due to it being sought after by collectors. Today, on eBay, you could get a base unit for around 160 to 290 USD, which is a huge sum compared to its $40 launch retail price. In this video, I will show you step by step on how you can play your Pokemon Mini games on your Sony PSP using an emulator. This is one of the best options for someone who just wants to try out the Pokemon Mini game library. In this video, we will go through step by step on how to install the emulator, how to test it, how to configure it, and I will share with you some of the recommendation game for the Pokemon Mini. This method will work for all PSP model running on custom firmware. If your PSP is not running on custom firmware, click the link on the top right or in the description below to see how you can run custom firmware on your Sony PSP. Before we start, do remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and check out the PSP emulator video from the PSP emulator playlist from this channel. Alright, let's start. Use the second link in the description below to download Pokemon Mini for PSP. The file will be in zip format so you will need a WinZip or WinDRAW to extract the file. Here I've downloaded the file onto my desktop. Using WinDRAW, extract the file. Next, insert your Pro Duo memory stick onto the computer. If you are running on custom firmware, your file structure will be similar to this. In the extracted Pokemon Mini for PSP folder, there will be two files and one folder. Now on your Pro Duo memory stick, open up the PSP folder, then open up the game folder. Copy and paste the Pokemon Mini for PSP folder into the game folder on your Pro Duo stick. Inside the Pokemon Mini for PSP, there will be a ROM folder. This will be where you place your Pokemon Mini backup files. I've included a homebrew game, Pokesonic, for you to check out. If you have more Pokemon Mini ROMs, this is where you will place them. ROMs are digital backup copies of the physical cartridge that has been extracted using a dumper hardware. For Pokemon Mini, it uses a .min file format. I can't tell you where to get these ROMs but if you do a simple google search for Pokemon Mini ROMs, there are a few websites that you can download them from. Here are a list of Pokemon Mini games which was released for the system. There are only 10 games released and 5 of them are in English. You may want to pause and screenshot this video. These are the game ROMs available online. They are not hard to find if you just do a simple google search. Here I have a folder with some Pokemon Mini ROMs. Copy the ROMs and paste it onto the ROMs folder in your Pro Duo memory stick. Once you are done copying, you can safely eject your Pro Duo memory stick from your computer. Insert your Pro Duo memory stick onto your Sony PSP. Turn on your PSP. Here the PSP that I'm using is running on a 6.60 Pro C, so I will need to run the Pro Fast Recovery to get onto custom firmware. Under game, select Pro Fast Recovery and let it do its thing. It will take less than a minute. Now that we are back on custom firmware, let's run the emulator. Scroll to game, then on memory card, and run the Pokemon Mini. It will boot up to the main menu screen. Here you can choose a new game to load, load a save state from a previous save game, and toggle the various settings. Let's load a new game. Let's start with the Pokemon Tetris. Scroll to it and press circle to load the game. For this simulator, the circle button will be the A button, while the X button will be the B button. The game plays perfectly with no lag, just like playing it on original hardware. The Pokemon Tetris were only released in Japan and Europe, and never gotten released in the US due to poor sales. It plays just like a typical Tetris game but with an added function which is that the brick is able to be flipped by shaking the Pokemon Mini. Something interesting about this game is that when a player makes a match of 4 or more lines, there will be a Pokemon that will appear on screen, which the player can capture and add on to its in-game Pokedex. To pause the game, press the start button on the PSP. Pressing the select button will bring you back to the main menu screen. Let's try out the save state function. In the main menu, scroll down to save state. Press circle and it will make a save. Now let's test it out. Let's return back to the game and play a little bit more. Pause the game and return back to the menu. We will load the save state that we have saved earlier. Go up to save state and press circle. Now we are back at where we last saved. To load a new game, go to the main menu and scroll up to load ROMs. Once we in, select a game to load. 
Let's try out the Pokemon Pinball Mini. This is a spin off to the Pokemon Pinball for the Game Boy Color. Starting with Diglett, the player must play through a total of 90 levels of pinball. The objective is to put the Pokeball into each hole. Along the way, there will be more Pokemon for the player to catch. The last game that we will take a look today is the Pokemon Zany Cards. This card strategy game is a compilation of 4 card games. Essentially, it's a 4-in-1 game. The first game is Wild Match, which is a card matching game that can be played up to 5 players. The second game included is Special 7. The objective of this game is to be the first player to get rid of all their cards. Card Duel is a game where the players have to accumulate the most number of cards on the table. This is a 2 player game that can be played with 2 players via infrared connection when played on the original hardware. The last card game is called 4 Kings which is a Pokemon variation of Solitaire. There are many fun and quick mini games to try out from the Pokemon mini library. Having a emulator like this to play on your PSP is such a blessing as it introduces rare and hard to find games to new gamers. There is also a Pokemon Mini emulator for the Nintendo DS which I will cover in future video. If you are looking for more PSP emulation hack tutorial, do check out the PSP emulation playlist from this channel. As always, leave a thumbs up on this video and remember to subscribe to the channel as it will help the channel grow. With that, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe everybody.